Denise, this is your girl Thrifty Pencil, and I'm back with another episode of Thrifty Talks. And this month, I want to talk about don't quit your day job. Now, I know we live in a world where everyone is trying to be an entrepreneur, and believe me, I get it because I mean, they say to be a millionaire, you need seven streams of income. So I'm all about creating a side hustle or side business. However, what kind of frightens me or I'm a little hesitant is when people decide to jump off in the deep end and just go into business completely for themselves. They quit their job and they want to tackle it. Now, I am a woman of faith, so I get it, I do. Um, but some of the things I wanna do or have a conversation is, if you do decide to go into business for yourself, what some things that you may encounter and maybe that way you can have the overall picture because with social media one thing i can say is you're only seeing this 90 second clip of people hair business or different things like that and you get so excited and you're like oh my god i can do that i want it for myself she's a boss i want to do this and that's only a fraction of these people lives like you don't see the day-to-day -day operations of what's going into it, what's going out of it. You don't see if they're struggling to make ends meet. That they do not show because the perception that they want to have is that they're doing well. And some of them may do well, not all. So one of the things that I noticed that a lot of people that say that they want to start their own business is because they want the flexibility in their scheduling or they want to be able to work for themselves and not have to clock into anyone. I get it, but let's just take a think. Let's just think about this on the opposite end. If you're an entrepreneur and you want a flexibility in your schedule, where? Where are you gonna get that at? You work for yourself now. That means weekends, holidays. When anyone needs your business, you need to be actually there to supply that demand that they want from your business. So there's not going to be with your job. You go clock in 40 hours. Now that you're running your business, it doesn't stop. There's no time clock for it. You're gonna to continue to clock in when people need you. So when you think about entrepreneurship, it's an all day grind. Whereas your job, you don't have to worry about that. So um, I would just say if that's one of your reasons that you want to consider entrepreneurship, I will just read a little bit more. The second thing that a lot of people say that they want money or they want to be able to, they can make so much more money doing things on their own. In some cases, that may be the case where you can make a lot of money. But also, let's take this into consideration. When you're an entrepreneur and you're talking about making money, you've seen where the statistics say that usually it takes three to five years for a business to be successful. So, and you'll hear a lot of times people say, well, I didn't pay myself for the first three to five years. Well, if you didn't pay yourself or if you weren't getting any money, how are you eating? How are you paying stuff? How are you doing this? So when you start thinking about starting your own business, how are you gonna be able to supply yourself? How are you gonna be able to afford different things? Sally Mae doesn't wanna hear that you're an entrepreneur. You know, the light bill doesn't wanna hear that you decided to start your own business. So those are things that I definitely want to look at when you start thinking about money on there, the, the amount of money that you're going to have, how can you afford your lifestyle being an entrepreneur? Because there's going to be times that people don't pay on time. There's going to be days that you don't make any money at all. How are you going to sustain from month to month? Are you going to go back and stay with your parents? That's definitely a thing that you want to consider. The next thing that I would say is to ask yourself, what's the number one reason that you want to be an entrepreneur? And if your number one reason is like, because of, I don't know, I just wanna be a stay at home mom or different things, whatever that reason is, I would say that you need to research that and then go back and research some more and then research some more because you definitely, when you make that move, that is a big step to take. And I don't want you to do it like lightheartedly to think about that. The next thing I would actually um, say is like, what is, do you plan to have a team? Because on here, like I said, once again with social media, you see that people are doing all these different blog posts, they're doing different things, they're updating their social media. Well, sometimes the person that runs that business, they hired a team of people to do this. So when you're one person trying to do everything yourself, that is a lot to update on social media. It's a lot to run the business. Can you afford to pay someone else? If you cannot afford to pay someone else or help you, how are you gonna sustain this business for them? Um, the next thing to look at is insurance. A lot of entrepreneurs do not have insurance. I don't even know plenty of them that have Obamacare at all. So then when you hurt yourself, if things happen, what are you going to do as far as life insurance, health insurance, long-term goals? So it's not just now, what about in the future um, on there? The next thing is, are you an innovative person? Like, are you an innovative person or are you just taking what everyone else has done? 
everyone starts a hair business, everyone is selling lashes, everyone is selling lipsticks. Well, if everyone is doing it, what is going to separate your business from anyone else's business? So that's the thing, like you need to ask yourself, are you an innovator? Because if you're innovative, then you're not going to do what everyone else is doing. Or if you are doing it, you're going to be able to find a way to make your business stand out. So these are just some tips and some things that I came and I was like, you know what, before you quit your day job, you need to consider some of these things because believe me, I have been bitten by the entrepreneur bug a time or two myself and I want to start things, but then when I start to really look at it, I don't have the time to dedicate towards it right now. And that's the thing, you may have a great idea, but it just may not be the moment or the season to try it. However, that doesn't mean to start getting things in order for, you know, what, where that time your schedule does let up. But what I would always say is, you know what, try it for six months to a year and see, run things out your house first or do different things like that. Have your come up small and then go from there. So like, comment let's talk about it let's have this conversation in the comments below because i know some people are going to have their opinions and that is great you're entitled to it but let's talk about it like comment subscribe talk to you later bye